Good evening, viewer. Welcome to our Glory Globe TV. Yours breaking news. Yes, a couple of years ago, the Economist declared on its cover that Taiwan, a tiny island home to 24 million people, was the most dangerous place on earth. The reasons it came to that conclusion remain sound. In fact, they have only grown stronger recently. The backdrop to the tensions over Taiwan is, of course, the expanding geopolitical rivalry between China and the United States. Ever since the rise first of Chinese leader Xi Jinping and then of former US President Donald Trump, both nations have fundamentally shifted their attitudes towards the others from benign to worry to hostile. Perhaps the extraordinary and rapid growth of China and the reality of America's dominant status made this inevitable. A rising power faces an established one, creating a situation that may be, in the words of author and Harvard International Security scholar Graham Allison, destined for war. But are we destined for war? The US and China are unusual in that while they are increasingly geopolitical rivals, they are also deeply intertwined economically. One example, during the Cold War at the peak of US-Soviet trade, the two countries exchanged $5 billion of goods and each other in one year. China and the US do $5 billion in trade every few days and that number has not dropped that much even as tariffs, bans and restrictions on trade have grown in recent years. In addition, China does not seem to be a revolutionary state seeking to overthrow the international systems and present the world with an alternative ideology to America. That ideological rivalry at the heart of the Cold War is largely absent today. One thing that is present, however, is nuclear deterrence. China and the US both have large arsenals, which should have the effect they have had elsewhere from the US and Soviet Union to Pakistan and India in deterring all-out war. Glory Globe TV, Delhi, Bharat.